head over here to the next game, guys. Let's go over here to the streets of Portland here, where we have the Portland Trailblazers laying three and a half points at the house versus the Oklahoma City Thunder, getting back plus three and a half points here on the road. If you'd like to go with the Thunder uh, on the money line, you can get back plus 140. Blazers are laying minus 160 on the money line um, at home is the home favorite here. Over and under is sitting at 239 and a half. And this one, Alex, will go right back to you. The Thunder have covered six straight versus the Blazers. Do you think they make it seven straight here today? I do. I love this spot for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And I think there's a couple adjustments that the market makes that we do kind of generally for teams that maybe don't apply here. So last game of a road trip, right? That tends to be a little bit tough for teams, but not for a young team like Oklahoma City. I mean, they play pretty much 100% every single night. I mean, they're going back home with all due respect to Oklahoma City. It's not like there's a lot going on there. It's They're a bunch of younger guys. Like, they'll be fine. And maybe they want to hang out in Portland anyway when they're done. I mean, and then you look from a basketball standpoint. What does it take to beat the Thunder? You know, a score that's going to attack the basket consistently or a big man that's going to punish them inside. I see neither on this Portland team. That's not really what Dave Lillard is at this point of his career. Maybe Simons can get to the bucket, something like that. I'm actually curious to see what Shade and Sharp can do against this team. But the way Oklahoma City wants to play basketball, as good as they are defensively on the perimeter, I just love this matchup here. So, you know, all the qualitative stuff was pointing to Oklahoma City. I had this closer to a pick em, honestly, when I started this morning. Um, all due respect to the market, I think three and a half is kind of nuts here. So give me the points with the Thunder. Yeah, that's a good point there. I'm, I'm always kind of kind of scratching my head when there's teams that's beating another team six straight times. On one end, one end, you have to think maybe they're just a bad matchup. Maybe they own them. On the other end, you got to think at what point will the team get revenge that's lost six straight, Josh? So it's kind of like that balancing act there. What do you think happens tonight? You think OKC makes it six, uh, seven straight wins and covers over the Blazers? Do they finally get some revenge here, Josh? Yeah, it's just not a great matchup for Portland, I think. And the Thunder, when you just break it down as simply as it is, I think they're a better defense for certain. Uh, Portland are about as bad as it can get in that regard. And I like this offense better than I like the Trailblazers offense right now as well. Um, they're shooting the ball absolutely terrifically from three-point area. They've been the number one team in terms of three-point efficiency now for over a month, which is showing a certain level of consistency at that end of the floor. And they do a great job of penetrating and getting to the paint. And there is absolutely no paint resistance, I don't think, in Portland whatsoever. So um, for me, I, I do think that this should probably be closer to a pig. This is suggesting that, you know, the Playoff Blazers would still be probably one point favorite on a neutral. I don't think that's the case at all either. I think the Thunder are the better team. So makes perfect sense here. I'll probably be getting involved with the Thunder in a couple of different ways here. Full game line and maybe even a team total over as well. Yeah, the Blazers do have reinforcements coming in, guys, uh, defensively, but obviously they won't be uh, in this game. I got I know they got Thibuel. They got another player as well as leaving my uh, leaving me right now. But the Blazers did upgrade. Who you know it is, Josh? They, they got Cam Reddish as well, which is going to help oh, their scoring, but not their defense. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, I like Cam Reddish as a defender, man. I know he hasn't been playing a ton, but Cam Reddish can actually lock up on a defensive end when he's engaged. That's, that's the whole thing. The last couple of teams he's been on, he hadn't been engaged. Watch Cam Reddish go over there to Portland and ball out. Man, I can't wait to see them with their reinforcements, but they're obviously not here tonight. Could not talk you off the thunder in this one. I do worry a little bit for a possible letdown coming off that Lakers game, but matchup alone, um, obviously they do have they do have the better overall team. Definitely Pay more attention to the defensive end as well in this one, guys. So definitely couldn't talk you off the thunder plus three and a half in that one, Alex.